before you go, do you mind uh, taking a lie detector test for me? Man, on the first date? That's a little, yeah, that's I mean, a little personal. You know? Yeah, but you know, so maybe like the third or fourth date, you know? You don't think that's I mean, personal? I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be a third or fourth date if. Wow! Oh my God, that workout was the truth. We need to. Mm -mm. We need to do it more often. Yeah, you we never want to come over here. Yo, listen, <laughs> the parking is trifling sometimes, I but know. you have the Chipotle, so yeah, we good. You and your Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it. Trying to get the buns right. You don't have to get them, so I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta maintain. <laughs> we need to do some weird shit. We need to do some weird shit. Yeah. Yes. You, you got an idea already? Like. Like body paint and then run down the street. <laughs> uh, I'll record you. <laughs> I'm not doing right. that shit. You want to stretch? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm done with this shit. But um, speaking of booty and fluctuation, mm -hmm. tell me what's going on with your love life. Oh. <laughs> you remember the the cop? The cop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I didn't even want to date him because he is a cop, and. Um, we were supposed to hang out on Sunday. Mm -hmm. How about I get a phone call from a lady, a lady <laughs> talking about, this is my man, we live together. Like, I'm like, uh, right. I don't know, talk right. to your man. Right. Why are you calling me? But hey, so the next day I still ended up like hanging out with him. Still? Yeah, I want him to lie to my face, you know. I want to confront him. Yo, that's bold as fuck. So, so then he acted like nothing was going on, you know. Right. And it, yeah. And eventually I was like, so who is Desi? And he was like... He chokes on his water. <laughs> exactly. And uh, so he tried to deny, acting like, no, we've been done. That's so weird. She called you. Like, okay. How she has access to your phone right. to get my number. So, so yeah, so I'm done. We're done now. That's it. So yeah, it's it's trash so far. Dating life is pretty bad because men are trifling. They're trifling. Um, I'm I'm over it, and I'm over you dating these whack ass guys. So I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna get you right. Okay. Who you got? Um, there's this guy named Lance. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty eyes, nice hair. He looks grown. Okay. You know, he's got grown man facial hair. And, um, and yeah, yeah, I just gotta, you know, pass along. Actually, I'm just gonna set up the date. I'm gonna set y'all up somewhere. Okay. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do that. Okay, hey. But I would not, I would not lead you in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Well, if, if it does end up like not working out, I'm gonna come for you. Oh God. Yeah? Yeah. All right, All right. noted. Hey. Oh, what's up? Hey. Look at her little light skin dude. I'll see yeah, you. Okay. Are you You're lighter than me? What are you oh. talking about? No. Let's do the skin test. See? See, yeah. It's lost. It's a bell. Whatever. So you ready for get your ass with right now? Okay. Yeah. Are, you, are you really good at bowling? I'm good. So, but, but you said you're going to whip my ass. So yeah. we, we can check it out. Why can't I whip your ass? Yeah. It ain't going to be that hard. So. Well, last time you went bowling, you caught a pandemic? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Let me get the dog feet. Thank you. Got your vaccine card. Hello. Oops. Shit, let me put a mask on. <laughs> uh, I thought I was gonna get catfish at first when I first emailed, because I was like, um, I don't know why she don't have a man, because she's too attractive to be on a date. But it's LA, everybody attractive, so I was really surprised about her just seeing her from. I'm like, damn, she actually is beautiful in person. Um, I liked him. He was tall, got light eyes. I was like, we're gonna have three babies, you know, but didn't want to go that far, you know, but yeah. When I found out the um, date was at Lucky Strikes, I felt like it was something different. Like I'm used to like going on like dinner, the first day, rooftop or something, you know, different. So bowling alley is actually like up my lane. Um, I think Lucky Strike is just a cool spot where you can eat, you can have some drinks and it's not too serious. And you know, I'm a little competitive, so 
That works out. So you are single, just to make sure that I don't get kiki, you know? Yeah, or you. bang, bang, yes. Bang, bang. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I just moved there a couple of years ago, so yeah, I'm kind of, you know, COVID, I got here before the pandemic. Okay. So I got here in November of 19. Mm -hmm. So it's like, your know, first four, five months in LA, you know, you make a transition and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, dating's kind of weird out here because of so, COVID. So you got nobody? No, I'm single. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I know you seem like you have a ton of... I got hoes. I, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> What kind, how many O's you got? Five. Five? Yeah. So you know all their names or you get them confused sometimes? Mm, I don't call their names. Wow. I don't say their names. Even when y'all, you know. Yeah, why? No, I can't, I can't. I'm like, oh, we. You might get Derek confused with Eric. Yeah, so I don't say the name at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of time management to have five O's though. I got time. That's, that's too much for me. I, I got time. That's too much? <laughs> I'm playing. No, I don't, I'm not currently dating anyone. Why not? I don't know, it's tough out here, so. It's what? It's tough. It's tough to find like somebody you like, somebody that has like time, well, mate, so. Uh, you, you find time for what you want to do and like build yeah. with people and stuff. But, yeah. but like Some you people, said, LA scene is kind of like everybody. Kind of like that. Five, six days a week working and shit like that. Yeah, for sure. How's your dating experience been? Like, it's just, not that good right now. Like, what's not yeah. good? Like, what's it's nobody wants to be in like in a committed relationship. Mm. Everybody is dating a bunch of people. So, so the first relation, like dating, like we're mm -hmm. on our first date. Yeah. You tell people that you want a relationship off the gate. Yes. Instead of getting to know them. Yes, I, I didn't say I want a relationship with you. Oh! I, but I want a relationship. Yes. Yeah, but you gotta see if that person is actually compatible with you, yeah. right? Yeah, but I'm not saying with you. I'm yeah. saying that's what I'm saying. In looking general? For. Yes. You shouldn't be looking for it, though. You're the prize, right? It's just for you, right? No, I think everybody is the prize. Mm, to a certain extent. I mean, if they're good people, you're the prize, too. But you can bring good. stuff to the table compared to a lot of women, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So you're like a supreme prize. Guys should come to you. You should never chase them. Why? <laughs> I'm, just I, I'm not chasing. I don't know. I don't. I am you not said, chasing. You said. Did I chase you? Did I invite you here? Mm -hmm. No, exactly. It was so, the other way around. You're I'm right. Not chasing. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. But have you chased guys before? No. I, I don't, don't do that. Why you don't do? See now you're taking. Nah, me I just I want to flip it. I want to flip it. What's the problem? Like sometimes a woman, if you're attracted it's, to a oh, guy, it's no problem. I just you don't, don't want, do it. You don't want to get rejected. Um, maybe that's part of it. Or you living off the old. 1960 rules. No, I don't live by that. I can approach. Roles, I can approach a guy. It's fine, but the chasing, I'm not doing that. I can approach you if I see you and talk mm. to you. Mm. And if you see that you, if I see that you're interested, then I'll talk to you. You know. But if you show me like, no, I'm cool. I'm not chasing you. Mm. No, that's. Appro you approach guys? Yeah. Are they the same height? Cause you kind of, you know, a little, no, they're, a little, little tall. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. my height or above most of the time. You like taller guys usually. I think he goes better with me, I think. He's go better with you? I love the accent. I don't be knowing the half thing he's saying, but I'm paying I'm trying to keep up. It's struggling a little bit. I mean, bit. they look better if they're my height. But I dated shorter, so. How was that experience dating shorter? It was cool. It was really nice. Just didn't work out at the Did end. Did y'all see eye to eye? <laughs> yeah, no. like this. Like this. It's disrespectful. So you see him, you like, yes. you kissed his forehead as he looked up to you. A little, mm. but yeah. it's okay. It's not bad. His energy is really like chill, down to earth, like really funny. Everything is a joke, so there might be an issue at some point, but he's he's fun. I like him. Um, our first conversation, she was pretty much just cool overall. Like she had a good vibe. Like you could, like sense the energy is like real natural. Like she's just a kind person deep down. You can tell by just like being around. You can sense that she's a little silly and goofy also. So, do you have any kids? No, that I know of, no. <laughs> no. No, okay. No. I, I use protection very well, so I haven't had a kid. Okay, good What about you, know. you? Like, you got a couple baby daddies? No, none. Yeah. No baby daddies. No baby daddies. Uh, you married? No, no. Oh, yeah. You, no. You uh, we don't know. Well, we can take it off, you know. You know, nowadays women be saying on social I mean, media I got one it. here, but it's, yeah. it's not that. It's, it's a not, promise ring, right? No, so. it's just jewelry. Jewelry. That's bling, it. bling, bling. Yeah, that's all. Okay, it's yeah. nothing like, nothing to it. Mm -hmm. No meaning. No meaning. Meaningful. Like, no. You got all the jewelry. No. Just, 
iced out. What y'all say in France? Iced out or? We don't say out? that. We what don't say What y'all say? Bling? We don't say it. What y'all say? You look nice. Oh, that's it? That's it. Damn. <laughs> we so over top, ain't we? Oh, uh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. So, I don't know. You seem like um, a, a player, uh, I want to say. Are you a player? Um, I can't be a player in LA. What's I mean, you can have hella bitches. But that's, 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 that's a price. That's a price range. That's kind of too expensive to live in it's LA. It's too expensive? Yeah, to have hoes here. You can't, you can't do that. That's, that's a rich man's game. Because think about it. If I'm, a, if I'm dating a person, right? Mm -hmm. She's dating an NBA player, mm -hmm. NFL player, a hockey player. Okay. We could say a rapper, a producer, a director, mm -hmm. or um, some person that owns like a weed bit business. So okay. That's my competition. And you don't, you're not there? No, because I'm um, actually came in like get my realtor license. Okay. So I'm in the process of getting that, but you know, COVID kind of oh, pushed everything cool. Okay. So, be a realtor here. Mm -hmm. So, so this is why, did you take it? The yeah. drink is done. Yeah, you, no, I didn't you want know. another one? We got what's her name, Maria? What's her no, name? Melly? Melly? No, Maria, the waitress. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, you didn't talk to her? No, I didn't. Okay. That's good. Okay, have you ever cheated? In your life? She did no. Never. No, I feel like when you um in a relationship with a person, you should just like settle down and like get to know that person. If it don't work, then you mm -hmm. break up. Okay. Like I don't understand some of my friends that be having like ten year relationships and be cheating and shit like that. Yeah. What about you? Have you cheated? I have. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know, women cheat out of emotions. So, was it emotional, or physical? Uh. Mm. I just, mm. <laughs> it was, I don't know, mm. it just, I wasn't getting everything I wanted, I think it's like, or physically? emotionally, but okay. then I just went for attention, mm. so it wasn't like I really liked the other dude, I was just like, so you used him, no, <laughs> so you used that guy out of your satisfaction, okay, have a good, figure out the story you see going, yeah, got you got you scared of it, huh? Are you scared? Oh, you can't see me go. Oh, you can see me go. Oh, you struggling because it's been a couple of years. I, I thought she was gonna suck real bad, but she started whooping my ass real bad. But um, I came back at, towards the end, and I ended up losing by one, but overall it was a good game. I'm surprised. I was really shocked. I didn't know she can bowl a little bit. It was a lot of fun. So, you know, I'm very competitive. So that, that, was, that was cool. And uh, he looked like he had the form of like, you know, when you go and bowl, but then he kept on like putting it in the rail. So I was like, Wait, th this is weird. Why you look like you know how to play, but you suck? Part two, no? No, I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die. Can I quit that easily? You gotta give me a second hand. No, I don't. So you're not gonna reverse out of three? No. No. Just so, you, so you hit it and quit it? Well, I hit it and quit it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ok
That's it. That's it. That's Got it. it. <laughs> He's really like easy to talk to. And uh, it feels like even tough questions, they're like super easy and he's not like, he doesn't come off as judgmental. Right. It's shocking, it's shocking. It was a pretty cool date though. Thank you. Uh, did you like it? Uh, how did you feel? <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. Yeah. You did? Uh-huh. You sure? Yeah, I got, I got some questions for you though. Okay, what's the questions? Um, was, when was the last time you had sex? Uh, a month ago. A month ago? Mm hmm With who? I mean, not, I don't know the name, I don't need the name, but like, one of your ex or something? Yeah, was a little situation thing. What about you? Um, about a month ago, too. Oh, what about you? Is it your little fling or? A little fling. Uh, mm -hmm. How yeah. do you do flings in LA? Like, what do you do as you do? Um, I don't, some guys stick around and we talk for like a, a little longer time, so you know. Oh. Uh, it's not bad. You just meet them in like person, you know, everybody doing dating apps nowadays and stuff. Mm, I don't know, cause I am on dating apps, but- uh, Get out of here. I am. But this one, this guy wasn't from a dating app. I knew him from before. Oh. Yeah. That's dope. Mm-hmm. What about you? Um, have you ever been in a poly? <laughs> have I ever been in a poly relationship? Uh, no. Would you ever consider like doing something like that? I just feel like you do what you want to do. Let me get on like, there. Yeah. Oh. oh, look at you. I, I try to be a gentleman sometimes. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't know about um, Polly all the way, like having two girlfriends or two boyfriends or whatever, but more like um, if you got to go do what you got to do, you know, go for it. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. That's a little no. being around the bush, but it, is it? it didn't answer the question at all. Poly, I said you, poly, no. you. Oh, have I been in a poly? No. I said, would you ever consider doing that? Not poly. No. It's different, huh? No. Yeah, it's different. What about you? Uh, it got depends on the situation. Okay. Uh, if you've been married for like 10, 20 years, and it's, you know you're trying to keep it going, I'll be open to it. But okay. that's not my first choice. Okay. Oh wow. I got you. Yeah, it's real different. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, before you go, do you mind uh, taking a lie detector test for me? Man, on oh, first date? That's a little, yeah, that's mean, a little personal. You know? Yeah, but you know, so maybe just, like the third or fourth day, you know? You don't think that's I mean, personal? I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a third or fourth date if. Wow! If you don't take it. Mm, if I don't, so that's all like you kind of like controlling me. <laughs> but I'll, I'll do it, I'll try it. Just okay. okay. I'll try. It's not. It's not control. It's just like I don't waste your time. You don't waste my time, and you know. Instead of just getting no people, yeah, just jump straight to it. Yeah. So like you get on you, social media and spy on people and figure out who they are without actually getting to know them over time. Yeah, we do that. Mm. LA shit. Got you. <laughs> Got you. Hundred. Okay. Make sure you you stay still. Okay. It's just that's how it works. So, um, is your name Lens? Yes. Are you from Chicago? Yes, South Side. Okay. Uh, do you have any kids? No. Are you sure? Positive. Pray to God I don't have kids. Okay. Um, are you married? No. Um, you told me last time you had sex was a month ago. Yes. That's correct. Yes. It's showing deception. Deception? A month it's ago, yeah. Okay. The end of December, right? December is a month ago, yeah. Or but it's, ago. it's showing that you're lying. Nah, it's not <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Um, are you in love with any of your exes? Mm. Out of love. That's a hard, that's a true question though because I just got a relationship in May, so I was in love. So. Are you in love now, with her? No. <laughs> Maybe you need to give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, have you ever had sex with a, a friend 
or one of your family members ex-girlfriend or current girlfriend that's, a th that's three questions though so which one uh have you had sex with one of your friends ex no hell no hell no okay um do you have a good relationship with your mom Yes, but she deceased. Okay. Mm. Have you ever snitched on one of your friends? No. <coughs> okay, well, I don't know. You sure about your homeboys? Yeah, I got a small circle. I never snitched on them. How can I snitch on them? I've never been in a position where I be around their girls. Okay. Um, have you ever done porn? Hell no. What, what type of porn are you talking about? Like just like pay for or just your own home videos? <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Uh, the one you're paid for. No. So I'm uh, insecure about my body. Okay. What is your body count? Mm, I don't know. Can you give me a range? Uh, I got a list on my phone. <laughs> I'm probably under 40, probably under 40. Under 40? Probably less than that, honestly. I don't know, I never really counted. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm so scary, sleeping around, STDs. Okay. Well, all right. Then that's it. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> yeah. How you feel? This is weird. It's weird? The is snitching it? part and the sex part? That don't make sense. How can I snitch on somebody and then it was some type of time? I, I, I don't know. It says you were lying. Nah, never snitched on somebody. I'm loyal. That's one thing about me. Yeah. I've been in some fucked up situations with my friend. I still didn't snitch. Okay. I'll be dead if I snitch. Oh my god. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Let me see. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's not him. That's right. Okay. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm okay. You feeling okay? No. No? My, you know my heart beating fast as hell. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. This is just different. Yeah, you're different. It's a lot of personal pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you think you're gonna want to see me again after this? Yeah, I, I'll try it again. But I, you know, some of the stuff I want to share for over time when I get to know you. Okay. Like my mother. Yeah. You know, family. Mm-hmm. You can't share it with everybody on the first date, right? I, I hear you. Mm -hmm. well, everybody yeah. personal. Yeah. Well. You want to walk into your car now? Yeah. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, you seem mad. Are you mad at me? Nah, I look mad. A little. Uh, no? Uh, it look like it look a little rough. Probably tired. Yeah? Uh, okay. It's different. It's different. It's you know, different. I'm open to try stuff. Okay. All right. Man, a lie detector test, man. That shit was kind of like, threw me off a little bit because like, I don't like being ambushed with certain things. Because from where I'm from mentally, that's like, like you trying to set me up on some bullshit, like trapping me or like, I, I wasn't ready for that. But I'm a team player, so I was like, fuck it. I'm going to actually do it and go through with it and just see what happens. It, it feels good, like, to know, like, somebody is willing to do something because they, they might like you, you know? I mean, I know it might be a little, like, a lot for a first date, but the fact that he was willing to do it, I really appreciated it. Uh, probably not. The second date probably not going to happen because, um, I don't know, certain questions and stuff she probably feels some type of way about. And... Um, me getting ambushed, that might me feel, make me feel some type of way too about the lie detector sets. Well, some of the questions I think were maybe a little too personal for him. And uh, I guess that's what I get for asking hard questions without really knowing somebody. So on that part, I was like, mm. One in 10 was actually, uh, it would have been a 10, but it dropped down to eight with the lie detector test. Cause you got too personal on the first date and me exposing, like, my mother passed away. That's a system issue when I was 15. So 
that kind of like certain boundaries you don't do until you get to know a person. But overall, the day was fucking dope. I had fucking fun. Like, I can't say like I didn't have fun. Like, shit, it was actually pretty cool overall. Yeah, probably the uh, asking people about their family and stuff. Maybe I would have like take that away. And um, yeah, but the rest, no, because the rest is like, I need to know what you're about. I need to know if you're a cheater. I need to know if you got a girlfriend, you're married, you got kids. I need to know all of that. Overall, one to 10, how'd you feel about the date? I would say 10. 